Good evening. Duncan Scott has made sporting history after becoming the first British athlete to win four medals at a single Olympic Games. Scott and his teammates claimed silver in the men's 4x100 metres medley relay, rounding off Team GB's most successful year ever in the pool. Ryan Moore reports. Walking out to the aquatic centre, hoping to make history. Leading Team GB home, Duncan Scott secured the silver for his team and with it, his fourth medal of this Olympic Games, etching his name into the record books. Wonderful silver medal for Team Great Britain. I don't know if it's really settled in, you know, having, having four medals. I think something that I do really well is, you know, the second something has happened, good or bad, you know, I park it and move on to the next one. So it's been like that the full week. I think over the next couple of weeks I'll sort of take it in you know i'll probably go back and, and watch the olympics and, and i think then i'll start to realize you know what i've actually achieved it was the family classes in the pool this morning at scott's training base in sterling university and there's hope amongst his coaches this achievement will inspire the next generation my, my dream was to have someone born in scotland learn to swim in scotland be part of the scottish swimming club um, system and get to the top of the Olympic podium. So Duncan Scott has proved that you can do that. To have six Olympic medals, age 24 is, is remarkable. So he's done it all in Scotland, which must be an inspiration to young people all over the country. This is where it all started for Scott at the Citadel Leisure Centre in South Ayrshire. And for his first coach, it was an emotional moment. Within the first month or two that he was there, we had him in our mini league team, um, you know, swimming a, a couple of strokes. You know, and, it, and he was such a good all-rounder. I had a very small part to play, you know, and, and that kind of thing is, is really special. It makes you, makes you latch on that, that wee bit more to, um, to his, his achievements. From the pools at Trin to the swimming centre at Stirling to Tokyo, where Duncan Scott has become the most decorated Olympian for Team GB at a single Games. And with the next Olympics only three years away, there's hope Duncan Scott can add to his tally. Ryan Marr, STV News at the National Swimming Centre in Stirling. To other news, and vulnerable teenagers are set to receive their first dose of the COVID vaccine before they return to school. The Scottish Government is aiming to offer a JAG to around 4,000 12 to 17 year olds before August the 16th. Meanwhile, the latest changes to the furlough scheme have come into force, with employers now required to pay 20% of staff's wages. Felicity Clifford has more. As the summer holidays near their end, one more thing has been added to the back to school list, getting your first COVID vaccine. Those aged between 12 and 17 who have learning difficulties, a weakened immune system or live with someone who has, are eligible for their first jab before the end of the month. Some of the young people that have been hardest hit by what's happened in schools have been those who are most vulnerable. So I think this vaccine program, albeit a small number at the moment, will allow more of those children to be in the classroom. 4,000 youngsters have been identified as being eligible to get their vaccination, but they won't just have to go to vaccination centres like this one to get it. Depending on their health and care needs, they'll be able to get their jab at home, in a care setting or in a clinic. And while it's hoped this will help get the latest rollout moving, for the rest of Scotland's teenagers, there could be news about when they get their vaccine shortly. We all want to just make sure that, they, that our young people um, are being considered thoroughly. And the GCBI absolutely are doing that, but they're waiting for more and more data. So we are actually expecting them to give us some further updated advice when it comes to young people, uh, particularly in that 16 to 17 year old age bracket hopefully in the coming days. Meanwhile, from today, employers will have to pay 20% of furloughed workers' wages. The Scottish Chamber of Commerce say this isn't the right time for the scheme to end and are calling for a successor scheme to be introduced. Felicity Clifford, STV News. Football and Aberdeen kicked off their Scottish Premiership campaign with a 2-0 win over Dundee United. Meanwhile, Hibs are currently leading Motherwell 3-2 at Fir Park with around 10 minutes left to play. Meanwhile, Celtic had a disappointing start to their campaign last night. They suffered a 2-1 defeat to Hearts. And that's where we'll have to leave it this evening. Phillips here with the forecast next, so don't go anywhere. Bye for now.